What's up, guys? Jesse Plants here. We got um, this drive shaft made up for the the uh, car. It's got a slip yoke built into it here, um, so that we can install it, and uh, uh, that way we can bolt up to two solid mounting points since there's no slip yoke in the in the transmission or anything. So um, things pretty slick. It's got a greasable slip yoke there. And then each uh, each plate matches the one matches the diff and one matches the transmission. So I'm gonna slap that in after we maybe touch it up a little bit. I don't know what the hell happened here. I guess they just spray painted it. Looks pretty thin, but must have set it on the bench at their shop on some chemicals or something. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, get that installed today. Finished up working on the old ladies rig fixing fixing the uh, the Honda there got that all ironed out she looks pretty good considering so yeah got this thing we just need to connect some wires fill her with fluid uh, pull the we're gonna pull the harness off this bad boy and I don't think I have a deep pinning tool but I guess we'll just um, cut off the wires we don't need and uh, put some shrink wrap over them and then the few wires we do need should only be a couple need this part of the harness for the speed sensor on the output shaft and then I gotta figure out whatever whatever one's the reverse gear indicator um, and we'll just probably chew up this harness and make it make it work for our uh, our new transmission that way we can just plug straight in we'll just plug that harness straight into the harness coming down through the tunnel and it'll be still be sealed and uh, sealed electrical connections uh, so I'll figure out which connector is the uh, the uh, reverse gear indicator using this super sweet um, complete manual I got online which is freaking awesome it's got everything it's basically like your all data hard copy from back in the Dizay for 96 but good enough good enough so freaking right so we'll um, get back to the the main project here the freaking center console actually fits Ladies and gentlemen, I am jazzed, super jazzed. So, this air duct goes all the way to the back and out the sides there. Just barely clears that metal that I raised up here. You can see for the shifter. I mean, it. I didn't even measure it, but it's like... I mean, it's literally perfect. It's fucking perfect. Super excited about that. So, it's going to be awesome. Didn't know if we were going to have to ditch that air conditioning vent or not since I raised the, the tunnel up, but we're golden. All right, so we got the harness pulled off the transmission here. We got uh, a couple things we need to keep. Um, this part of the harness, this is the downstream O2 sensor on the passenger side, or driver side actually. I think it sits like that, yep. Driver side, passenger side, O2 sensor downstream. This, our vehicle speed sensor connector. Got that, and then we need to keep, oh this is actually an output shaft sensor too, which I don't know how we're gonna, if we're gonna get that figured out with tuning, cause the new transmission only has one. Factory transmission had an output shaft sensor and a vehicle speed sensor, uh, which, I don't know, they both go to the PCM, but 
obviously our inputs for different things. And then we've got our transmission range sensor connector here. Got the trusty service manual open. You can see that uh, the fuse run only feed, pin number two. That's our power in. So this guy right there, yep, that guy. And then our pin number six, nope, pin number three, backup lamp. So that's this pin. So we need two and three, two and three. And those will go to our reverse, our backup lamp sensor, whatever you want to call it on the new trans. So we're just going to... Um, cut the wires off from this connector and pull these two connectors as whole and this connector too I believe is the same we'll pull that as a whole and then we'll run a little extra wire if we need from there to the new sensor and then we'll keep the uh, these main two connectors that go up through the firewall so that uh, and then we'll just clip all the wires we don't need so we've got it all figured out and that's good, I think, except for the speed sensors. We'll see which one we need and how we figure that out via probably tuning, I suppose. So I was going through this transmission wiring and realized that we narrowly dodged a bullet here. Uh, the 96 has the old style range sensor, um, and this 98's got a newer one. Uh, with, I mean, you can see it's a completely different connector view. Um, the wires colors didn't even match up with the chart here, so um, I went and found a different uh, different diagram for the 9798s and uh, had to just do a little searching. But I found the power to the range sensor and then the power to backup lamps from range sensor so we're good now but uh, I guess make sure you're using the right wiring diagram for frig's sakes because it's a goddamn Ford and they just change shit all the time so should be used to it by now but uh, anyways yeah that's that's that just figured I'd note that so did a little research online found out that the out Put shaft speed sensor is a uh, input for the transmission control evidently on Ford's and vehicle speed sensor is for the PCM and for the speedo so which is good because I've only got one sensor um, so I'm going to connect the old vehicle speed system input to the um, variable reluctance, res whatever the freaking sensor is called, uh, ring gear sensor, and um, we will just connect it to that, and we'll be feeding the PCM speed information, and we will be um, not feeding the PCM uh, speed input for the transmission. I'm assuming, I think the PCM does tranny control and engine control, so um, not sure why they didn't integrate these back in the day, but I believe now they're integrated. So I think we can, you know, when we go in and get rid of all the auto transmission stuff in the tuner, with the tuner, we'll, uh, that'll be fine. So I'm going to cut this part of the harness and um, sh uh, heat shrink that those leads off just kind of like I did these I heat shrunk them all individually and then uh, just kept them all tight with one big heat shrink so we're gonna cut those and then we'll start figuring out how this is all gonna wire in one other kind of piece of hilarity that I just figured out is the um, backup lamp sensor in the transmission is just a weather pack um, I didn't know when I ordered it, but I paid like $12, and it's like a Motorcraft part, and it's got freaking, you can't really see, it's
it's got the female weather pack and the friggin sensor is female too so luckily I've got weather pack stuff but I just found that hilarious that I bought the nice connector and it was just a weather pack and it has the wrong ends on the wires so classic <laughs> Here's it is right here. We got the harness coming down. We got it just uh, push clipped to the cross member in the factory locations. And then we've got the one harness, most of them clipped, but the two wire leads from it going up to the vehicle speed sensor. And then we've got the other harness going to the reverse gear sensor and then I've got just the O2 sensors just hanging right now wait to see where that lines out uh, downstream O2 sensors um, once I get the exhaust fabbed up I'll figure out how to structure this but uh yeah we got the harness for the transmission done that was super easy obviously there's only two two sensors on it so cha there we go leave leave that for another day the uh, o2 sensors